Welcome to Introductory Statistics using SPSS 2nd Edition. This video shows how to process the Spearman correlation. You can watch the entire video or use the time slider to navigate directly to any time point. The Spearman correlation is similar to the Pearson correlation. Before proceeding, it's recommended that you first view the video CH08 Correlation and Regression Pearson.mp4. In terms of setup and results, the Spearman correlation and the Pearson correlation are quite similar. The Spearman correlation has two primary uses. First, remember that in order to run a Pearson correlation, three pretest criteria must be satisfied normality, linearity, and homoscedasticity. If there's a substantial violation among any of these, then the Spearman correlation is the better choice. Second, the Spearman correlation can be used to compare two ranked lists. For example, suppose a dietitian and a patient are each given five dietary cards and asked to arrange them from most to least preferable foods. The dietitian sorts the cards this way, and the patient sorts the cards this way. The Spearman's row of 0 .900 reveals a strong positive similarity among the orders of these two sorted lists. This example uses the data set CH08 Example 02 Correlation and Regression Spearman.sav. This data set contains two variables the dietitian's food sequence, and the patient's food sequence. To process a Spearman correlational analysis, click on Analyze, Correlate, Bivariate. Move dietitian and patient to variables, uncheck Pearson, and check Spearman. Click OK, and it'll process. The correlations table shows a strong positive correlation of 0.9 between dietitian and patient. We also see that the p-value is less than 0.05, suggesting that this is a statistically significant correlation. This concludes this video.